next video installment. This time I wanted to share with you what it's like to travel by train in Cameroon. I needed to leave Yaoundé for some meetings in the north and originally I was going to drive but plans changed and it worked out best to take the train. When you take the train from Yaoundé heading to the north of Cameroon, you leave at about 7 in the evening from the capital city and you're in a rainforested area and you arrive the next day at about 10 a.m. When you wake up in the morning, you're in an area that's more of a savanna, where herders are taking care of livestock. So I stayed only a brief time in the city in the north. I just had some meetings during the day and took the night train again, leaving the north again about 7 p.m., just like going the other direction, and arriving in Yaoundé at 10 in the morning. So on the way back down south, I took a little more video. One of the things that happens is you have a lot of stops, and they're all in the middle of the night. And some of these places, seriously, the towns don't have electricity. And maybe there's just a little bit of electric light inside the station, just a light or two or some lanterns on people or, you know, even the guy inspecting the wheels of the train holding his lantern. That's about all the light you get. It's kind of a little strange. Heading south when you wake up in the morning, you're back in the rainforest. And at this point, you get some nice views uh, for a few moments of the Sonaga River as you go by it. So the whole activity of what happens when you come into a station in Cameroon, and it's like this when you're traveling over land on a bus as well, but when you come to the stations and uh, have that big train slowing down and everybody's got their windows open, uh, lots of people approach the train trying to sell their goods, selling fresh fruit, selling uh, baton de manioc, which is uh, kind of a staple food that people eat, uh, selling soft drinks, all kinds of things. And uh, it's quite the flurry of activity that happens at each station. And this lady even got a little angry with me that I didn't want to buy anything from her. Near the end of the train trip, as you're approaching Yaoundé, you start to notice the buildings becoming a little more frequent and the development's a bit denser, and you start to see the hills that surround Yaoundé. And you really know you're getting close to the station when habitation is right at the edge of the tracks. And finally, you come into the train yard, which is a vast piece of land. Not a lot of tracks, not a lot of activity on it. There's not many train lines running in Cameroon, but a little bit of activity. Uh, hey, guys even mowing the, the lawn by hand with machetes. So, thanks for joining us. 
If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click like. You can also click subscribe to subscribe to our channel, and you can even click the bell after you've clicked subscribe. If you click the bell, you'll get a notice each time we upload a new video. Look for another one coming in a couple weeks of a road trip I made to the east for a songwriting workshop. Until then, thanks.